Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, it's Sunday, four o'clock. Been an interesting 36 hours. Friday night, my wife and I got our COVID boosters. Now, she's gotten Pfizer, so the first two shots, now the booster, and I got Moderna, first two shots and the booster. Every time we've gotten a shot, she had no side effects at all, other than a sore arm. No problems whatsoever. Me, on the other hand, I had side effects after every shot. And the first two times basically started out perfectly fine. I thought, oh, okay, this is great. And then, and, and I got it done like sometime, we'll just say midday. Then that night when I went to sleep, that's when I got hit like a freight train. And all night I was miserable. My head was just the head, you know, like, you know, I always have a headache. I'm always kind of achy anyways, but this was different. It was definitely, definitely a different powerful headache. And, you know, just kind of bleh, slept like crap, got up the next day and, and felt sick pretty much most of the day. And then it slowly petered out and I was done. That was after the first shot and the second shot. So I was prepared for this third shot. So I thought, you know, I went out and I got us a bunch of soup, a bunch of juice, you know, crackers, bread, all that shit. So that if we didn't go anywhere or like if we did have problems, we didn't have to go anywhere and we were going to be good for, for a couple of days that we wouldn't have to worry about going out and getting anything. Okay, no problem. So we get the shot at like six o'clock Friday night. I'm preparing to wake up in the middle of the night miserable like I was before. Well, that didn't happen. We both got up in the morning and we felt great, like no problems whatsoever. So we went out, we went to, you know, VB Flea, we hung out, we did all kinds of stuff, you know, did some shopping. I actually felt so good that after we did all that, I actually grabbed my cameras and I went out to Pleasure House Point and I walked the entire, you know, area. and. I mean, it was great. It was in the mid 60s, decent day, kind of almost going to rain, but it wasn't bad. And I thought, all right, this is this is cool. I feel great. So it's been 24 hours now, you know, by the time like four, five, six o'clock rolled around. And I was like, OK, 24 hours. I haven't had a problem. Thank Zeus. I made it through the entire thing and I didn't have any problems. And of course, she didn't have any either. Then right after that 24 hour mark, that damn booster threw me for a loop because then I started to feel weird and I was like, okay, so the headache, it's not the, the usual headache. It's that COVID shot headache. I could feel it starting to come on. So I, I, I took an ibuprofen and just one, like in midday, just in case. And then I took another one right after that started to happen around six ish. And then I started to get cold. If you know me, you know me. If you don't know me, I'll tell you, I don't get cold. It, it's a rarity that I get cold. I'm actually always hot. So my wife has always said, if you're cold, I've got to be near death freezing. And if you're comfortable, I'm cold. If she's hot, she knows that I have to be like just schwitzing. I have to be roasting. And that's sort of the way it goes. I'm always warmer than she is. So for me to be cold and her not to be we knew something wasn't right. And she's like, hmm, that's weird. I mean, this long after, I, you know, I didn't know it was supposed to have that happen. And I was completely, again, thrown for a loop because I thought, yeah, I made it 24 hours and didn't have any problems. Well, then it just got worse as the night went on. So I was freezing and starting to get really miserable. So I, I actually fell asleep on the couch, kind of towards the end of Sven Gulli and into Star Trek. And she actually went upstairs and went to bed and I just stayed on the couch and fell asleep. The only reason I woke up at all was because the power went out. And when the power went out, like I can hear all, all of my battery backups click. And then when the power comes back on because all of my smart stuff is dumb, boom, everything comes on. All the lights, boom, they come on full blast. And I was like, oh, you've got to be kidding me because I was miserable laying there freezing and I was tired and my head was throbbing. So I had to get up and reset everything and turn all the lights off eventually once, you know, everything turned on and cycled. And you got to know me, I cannot go to sleep without showering. I just feel absolutely gross and I can't do it. 
and I've tried to do it. I've tried to get into bed saying I'm just too tired and I lay there for like five minutes and I'm like, I gotta get up because I just feel gross and I won't be able to sleep. So I didn't shower last night. Like I was so miserable that I brushed my teeth, but I didn't even shower. Got into bed and then all night, like every hour, hour and a half, I had to get up to pee because I was trying to pound fluids to make sure that I didn't like get full on sick for all the good that did me. So I had so much juice and tea and what have you that I basically just was like continually peeing all night. So about every hour, hour and a half, I got up to go to the bathroom and then I would cr like just crawl my way back to bed, lay there, and then it was just like, a, oh my God, I'm roasting, throw the covers off. Two minutes later, oh my God, I'm freezing, put the covers back on. All that, all night, just constantly peeing and getting roasting ass hot and freezing ass cold. And my entire head felt like it had a sphere, like a, a, I don't know, like an alien sphere vice that was just crushing in on me. And I was miserable. We got up this morning, she woke up like she usually does and she's laying there looking at her phone doing internet -y stuff. And I'm laying there and, and I told her, I said, well, that sucked. And she's like, what? And I was like, you know, and I explained everything. She's like, oh my God, she goes, I didn't even know. And I, I feel fine. So she got up, up and went downstairs. And eventually I just texted her and said, you need to go ahead and eat. Cause normally I go out and get Sunday bagels. Nope, wasn't happening today. So I texted her and I said, you should just go ahead and eat. I can barely get out of bed to go pee. I laid there for a little while longer, but I never went back to sleep because I kind of felt like I was, I was gonna like teeter that line of staying in bed too long, headache, in addition to the, the COVID booster headache. So I didn't want to dick around with that. So I got up. I mean, I didn't feel as bad as I did earlier, like throughout the night, but bad enough. So she's like, why are you up? I thought you said you didn't feel well. And I go, I don't, but I can't stay in bed because then I'll feel worse. And she's like, well, that doesn't make sense. Just go lay down. I was like, nah, I'm fine. I got up and I knew I needed to take something. So I had to like, I had to make a piece of toast. So I made some toast and you know she had made extra coffee for me just in case knowing that i didn't want to have the caffeine withdrawal headache too so many things so i went through and i did all that and then i started pounding the juice again and i've been drinking uh well i usually get cranberry juice but they didn't have any so cran cran raspberry that i cut with san pellegrino uh fizzy water just so that i don't feel like i'm just drinking sweet juice orange juice straight water i've had soup today and i just haven't done anything I'm, I'm doing my normal day now because I feel better. And I got to a point where it got like, okay, it's starting to dissipate now. The effects are starting to dis dissipate. And she's like, you know, dude, like what's going on? Like you were telling me you couldn't even get out of bed. And, and now you're just running around like normal. And I was like, cause I'm feeling every minute that goes by, I feel better. So now at this point, like right now, sitting here in front of you doing this, I don't feel bad at all. Like I don't. I mean, I have my normal aches, my normal headache, but I don't have that COVID headache. I'm not freezing. I'm not spitzing hot or any of that kind of stuff. I feel actually pretty good. Now I just feel lazy and I feel gross because I didn't shower last night. Very strange, very tricky because again, I thought that within six or seven hours that I would feel the effects if I was going to feel anything. And I went a full 24 hours feeling peachy with no problems. And then all of a sudden, boom, freight train hits me and I'm down for the count. And I was only down, we'll, we'll say for 12 hours, you know, because it started to hit me around six where I didn't feel quite right. And then by the time I got into Sven Gulli, I started to get cold. And then by the time I got up the next morning, about seven or eight, uh, you, you know, like it had already started to run its course and I felt better. So I went 24 hours with nothing and then 12 awful hours. And now here we are. 48 hours later and I feel perfectly fine. All I can say, and I don't give a shit about your politics or your anti-science or your flat earther, or your worshiping head of lettuce bullshit, whatever. I got vaccinated. My wife got vaccinated. After every one of these shots, the way that I felt, especially last night after that booster, it just reinforces the idea that I never want to get COVID because that sucked, really sucked. And I encourage you all get the vaccination so you don't end up getting COVID because it ain't fun feeling like that. And I didn't even have full on COVID and know that it can throw you for a loop and say, hey, 24 hours after the shot, I feel great. And then all of a sudden not. I had a lot planned for today. 
I was gonna do the, the garage build out. I was gonna do this, that, and the other thing. And I haven't done jack shit. That's the way it goes. I've got three days of work this week, and then I'm off for the rest of the year. Pretty happy about that. But it's gonna be a crazy three days. I've got a lot of shit to do. All right, that's it. That's all I've got for you today. I'm doing laundry. I'm about to start my office day. I'm gonna have some more soup and I'm just gonna chill tonight and then get into my day tomorrow. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.